Our surveillance in 2014-2015 has given rise to 52 confirmed um, outbreaks of flu, which is a good number compared to previous years and is down to the work that vets and horse owners have done in uh, making those diagnoses, which is great. But we do believe that is only the tip of uh, the iceberg. Equine flu relies on transmission through the population and therefore is continually present, but we only pick it up at certain times. So it's really important that vets and owners are the eyes and the ears for our surveillance, and we rely totally on them in order to provide us with samples. From those samples, we can characterize the virus, we can monitor its uh, evolution, and more, most importantly, it allows us to evaluate whether the virus is evolving so that it's evading the protection that our vaccines are providing to the horse population. We know through history that this does occur and we have to be on top of it and detecting it as soon as possible so that we can improve those vaccines as quickly as possible. And once we become aware that vaccines are starting to fail, we get, we're seeing signs of influenza in vaccinated animals then we start to talk with the OIE. So our equine virologists uh, work on uh, these viruses. And when we start to see uh, influenza appearing in horses that have been vaccinated, it's really important that we understand why that is with a view to updating those vaccines. Our virologists uh, contribute uh, to data which goes to the world um, Organisation for Animal Health, or the OIE, and they make recommendations about updating uh, 